In this tutorial, we're going to see how to perform sensitivity analysis for HP models. First of all, what is sensitivity? When we ask for sensitivity studies, we mean to analyze how the priorities of the alternatives change as we vary the priority of a criteria. For example, if price becomes much more important, does the best choice of card change? To which one? By how much? Sensitivity analysis shows us how robust is our model, and it's also a really good way for finding what are the important factors that we can use later on to influence the decisions. Sensitivity can be studied for each criterion and for each sub-criterion that we have. First of all, let's start by loading up one of the sample models, the car choice. To do graphical sensitivity, we first select from computations sensitivity. We need to edit the independent variable. And then we have to set up the parameter type to super matrix that with respect to node to goal node. And the first other node will be one of the criteria that we want to work with. Let's start with prestige. Done. Always remember to update the model and keep open the window so you can change values. Right now, we can see in our sensitivity model that there is a point where we have a rank reversal. This point is really interesting because it means that when the prestige weight is above 27%, instead of having as best option the Honda Civic, we start having as best option Acura TL and the change of priorities gets even more visible when the weight of prestige increases. Let's do the same for the other criteria. We edit the values, change only the first other node to price, and don't forget to update. We have again two rank reversals. The first one, if the weight of the criterion price is above 32%, the best option would be Honda Civic, Honda Civic, and that makes sense because it's the least expensive car. And one more rank reversal, in case that the weight of the price is above 72%, then the second best option would be Toyota Camry, and the third one would be Acura TL. Let's see what happens with the other criteria. Edit, miles per gallon, update, Again, we have a rank reversal, but this time refers only to the second and third option. If the weight is above 68%, then the second best option will become Toyota Camry, and the third best option will be Acura TL. And for the last criterion, comfort, we have that if the weight of comfort is above 41%, then the best option becomes Acura TL, and the second best will be Honda Civic, while if the comfort criterion gets a weight above 76%, then the second best option becomes Toyota Camry, and the last one will be Honda Civic. This way, we did a sensitivity analysis for the HP model. The next step would be to do a dynamic sensitivity analysis. To do a dynamic sensitivity analysis, we go to computations, node sensitivity, and it pops up the window of the graphical sensitivity. This time, we will have to choose which criterion we want to analyze, let's say prestige, and we have all different options to view the results, a plot that shows pretty much what we saw on our simple sensitivity analysis, a bar chart where we can change the parameter, and we will come back to that, a pie chart, and a horizontal bar chart. Being in the bar chart view, we have a value of P, which when get, it gets the value of 0 0.5, we will have the same results with the actual results of the model, which we can see if we synthesize, with Honda Civic being the best option, followed by Acura TL and Toyota Camry. However, we can dynamically see the priorities changing by dragging the pointer to different values of P. The way that we calculate this new values is pretty simple. We get the, light, the row in the matrix that corresponds to prestige, and if the value of P that we are selecting is less than the value of P0, by default P0 is 0 0.5, and it's the place that we have the initial weights for the three alternatives. So if the value is less than P0, then all the line will be values will be divided by P0. So we will have a multiplication factor of P over P0, while if the value is above 0 0.5, all the line will be multiplied by 1 minus p over 1 minus p0. 
This kind of sensitivity is really good when we are trying to find out the ways that the weights affect the results. However, the simple sensitivity is much better, better when we try to get reports and show off the robustness of our model. So we saw two different ways of analyzing the sensitivity of an HP model. The first one, the simple sensitivity, give us very good results when we want to find out what will happen to the alternative solutions in case that the weight of a specific criterion or sub-criterion changes, while the dynamic sensitivity give us an overview of how the values of the alternatives change while changing a specific criterion weight.